Custom tactics and instructions for one of the most meta formations in FIFA 21, the 5-2-1-2. Sit back and relax, let's get you set up. To say thank you to all of you who have subscribed to the channel so far, I'm giving away some free FIFA points out of my own back pocket. Anyone can enter this, all you need to do is follow the link below, head to the competition section and click on the little party hat to enter. The draw is random and don't worry if you've missed this one, so I'll be running several during team of the season. This community is set up for all of you guys, so feel free to introduce yourself and join in the chat, I'll be in there most days. Hope to see you too. Welcome back squad, or if it's your first time here, my name is Brabzy, your FIFA 21 coach and the best beard in FIFA. We're going to get straight into it, so as always, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below or drop them in the community discord and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. As always squad, this has been tested with a cheap team in Division 1 and the Weekend League to show that you don't need a god squad to make this work for you. So what we're going to do is hit the L2 or LT button, go to Custom Tactics, hit L2 again and then load it in one of these empty slots. Doesn't matter which one, it will work the same regardless. Quick explanation into how this works because I do see a lot of people using five at the back formations quite negatively, i.e. leaving all of the defence back. That's not actually how you're meant to use these formations. Instead, we're going to operate this more as a 3-5-2 style formation. The left and the right wing back will be attacking every single time we go forwards. The difference is, in 3-5-2, the opponent's full backs will pick those wingers up straight away. Whereas in this particular formation, they make late runs down the wing, so quite often they will not be marked by defenders, meaning you can switch play really quickly and get some great attacking overloads coming on. So squad, let's get you set up. This formation is really customizable depending on your play style and we can really tweak that in the player instructions. But for the tactics, these will remain pretty much the same regardless of your play style. These are as follows. Defensive style, leave this unbalanced. The width we want to bring down to 5, it's a nice and balanced formation so no need to alter that. Now the depth you can tweak a little bit depending on how aggressively you like to press your opponents. I would say go no further than 7 and no lower than 4. I prefer to leave it on 5, just quite a neutral balanced formation in the defensive style. Onto the attack, again offensive style, we're leaving this unbalanced, the player instructions will do all of the work for us. The offensive width we just want to bring down to 6, a little bit more wider in the attack so we can get those left and right wing backs moving forward. Players in the box, I like to leave on seven to encourage our players to get forward, get some nice attacks going. We don't want to sit back with this formation. It's actually a pretty attacking formation. Corners, we leave on two bars because there's some really good corner routines we can do with that. Same with free kicks, just because we don't want to get caught on any counter attacks if we mess them up. On to the player instructions. So this is where the magic happens with this formation. We're going to start with the strikers. So both strikers want to be on balanced width, get in behind for attacking runs, normal interceptions, and stay forward for the defensive support. The idea with this is that the strikers will always be on the halfway line, ready to receive a pass and start a quick counter attack. Now the central attacking midfielder is where it gets a little bit customizable for you. Instructions you should give this player is balanced defense support, get into the box for cross, stick to position and normal interceptions. This will allow you to play the ball to those two striking players and try that little sweaty through ball pass that a lot of people do use with two players up front. However, you have the added advantage of having a central attacking midfielder making those late runs in behind them often being a free man in midfield if you need to use them. Alternatively, if you'd like to customise it to your own play style and you play a little bit more tick attacker style football, you can set the central attacking midfielder to stay forward, which I've had a lot of success with. You have that little triangle between the two attackers, central attacking mid, some brilliant passing opportunities can be made. Two central defensive midfielders now. Now one of them you want setting up as stay back while attacking, so they're always going to be there sat just in front of the back three ready to pick up any balls coming out. They also want to have balanced crossing runs, normal interceptions, stick to position and this is one of the few formations where I think it's more beneficial to have them on cover wing just because our full backs are going to be attacking a little bit more. As for the other CDM this is more suited to a box to box style midfielder that also has really good attacking attributes. So for this midfielder we want to set them up on get forward, get into the box across, normal interceptions, stick to position and cover wing as well. 
well. The idea is this player will operate as a central defensive midfielder, but as soon as you get on the attack, they'll be making some really positive runs forward to help support that central attacking midfielder and the two strikers. You can really overload your opponents with these settings. On to the defensive half now, and it'll be no surprise to you that all three centre backs need to be on stay back while attacking. As for your full backs, they will want to be on join the attack, normal interceptions and overlap. What this means is they will still get back and do their defensive duties, but as soon as you go on the attack, they will start to make positive runs down the wing close to the touchline, meaning that the fullbacks can't really mark them because they'll be busy with the players in the center of the field. So quite often, these fullbacks will be unmarked if you need to play the ball out wide or switch the ball to the other side of the pitch. As for the goalkeeper, you put these on whatever you're comfortable with. I personally do not change the goalkeeper because I prefer to manually bring them out if I want to and every other time just keep them in the goal and I can operate them as and when I require to. So that's the setup, but obviously you'll need to know how this formation actually plays. So let's get on into the demonstration. So remember, you don't need a god squad to get some great wins in this game, as long as the formation is doing the business for you. So we're going to go through some examples of how this one works. On the defensive side, having three centre-backs means that you can plug that little hole in the middle and press your opponents with one of them while still covering the gap with the other two. Meanwhile, having the full-backs joining the attack allows you to spread the opponent's defence whilst outnumbering them with those attacking central players. This is another good example of using that space out wide to force your opponent to pull one of those centre backs out. Meanwhile we've got four players applying the pressure, meaning we can outnumber them and nick the ball for a goal. Meanwhile for those of you that prefer the more tiki taka play style, having all those attacking threats in the middle means you can patiently build up waiting for the perfect moment to strike. You can really mix this formation up to suit your own play style and score a plethora of goals. Because remember, you don't need your opponent's god squad. All you need is Frank. A Chimpong. Ooh, smells like an opportunity for penetration. Don't know we're about to up to the world, to the world, to the whole world wide web. And if I know that if I flow like Pablo, I'm bringing silver and lead. Ride with us and go big, go give up and go back to bed. We're flipping the game in my head. Oh, I'm hoping we can see what I said. And it goes like it's a new door, it's a new day. Got me saying one love, I see the way. Can I write both shows, sing along? Do you feel the power when you hit play? When you hit play, when the new shit, with the fun lines. Living one life, everybody, me and mine. And if you're, you're looking for a sign. Wow, more than a sign. Hate to win. More like, hate to lose. So to recap folks, no matter your opponents, those midfield players should give you superiority in the central areas of the pitch to build up some nice attacks. Having your strikers set as get in behind along with that central attacking midfielder means through balls are a great way to build attacks. Meanwhile, you can always cut it back if you go too far. Watch for your strikers making these runs as this formation can be very useful in counter attacks too. Don't forget that two bar on corners means you can play really nice short corner routines like this one, sprinkle a bit of magic and it's a goal almost every time. Most of all, enjoy using this formation to get rage quits galore. See ya! So, ladies and gentlemen of the squad, from back to front, left to right, Wing to center, go forth, score your beautiful goals, dazzle them from goal kick to goal mouth, show off your passing abilities, dazzle them with your close ball control, your composure, your finishing, deliver to them the fish and the chips, lots Lots of chips. But remember the salt, for you are the ice cold finisher. Finish him! And above all else, remember there's only one player you need to win at this game. One true game changer. One true icon of them all. That player that we celebrate on this channel very often. That player is you. Dear viewer, loyal Brabzy TV member, King of Garda and I, we salute you. 
Thanks for watching squad, hope that was useful for you and as always give it a like, drop a comment down below and if you haven't joined the team already hit that subscribe button to get all the latest videos. Best of luck in your weekend leagues, hopefully I'll catch you in the discord chat but if not I'll catch you next time, see ya!